All right, here we have DeLorean time machine number 25 and kit number, I'm not sure, I think five or six. We built a lot of cars here at Bob's Prop Shop and we had this particular customer that wanted these two cars. He provided us with this DeLorean. We already had this Trans Am, which is actually uh, an 82 Firebird SE. So it wasn't the Trans Am model. It does not have the T-tops. It's a hard top, two door. SE model with the standard interior, but that didn't matter because we transformed it into Knight Rider anyway. Now it doesn't have the T-tops, but a lot of people won't even notice that if I hadn't mentioned it to you. And a lot of people don't like the T-tops anyway. So what we did with this car, let's go ahead and start with Kit. We already got this car and it was already painted and already had this nose on it. You know, a lot of people try to build their own Knight Rider cars and they realize that it's way more work than they could have ever imagined. The furthest that they get is putting the nose on because you can bolt that right on painting the car. When it comes to the rest of the car, that stuff was way more difficult. So we'll show you what we did. This car originally had a maroon interior because it was an SE and that's what they put in these. This was a white car with a maroon interior. I had almost this exact same car when I was 16 back in 1990. So what we did was we put in this kind of tan tweed interior, not the exact same as the doe skin PMDs, but working with this guy's budget, this is what we could put together here. And uh, these seat belts are kind of goofy. This is just the way these Trans Ams are, man. There's nothing you can do about it. But anyway, we did a full color transformation of the, of the interior. New door cards, these plastic tops here, these handles, all this stuff is new. Door sills, seats, carpets. The headliner is completely new. We had to modify this uh, upper console to work with a headliner that did not have the T-tops in it because normally it would be curved. Steering wheel, first season pods. Now this is a Don Colley made dash. It's one of his older dashes uh, that I acquired. But again, we were working within a guy's really tight budget, so we had to do what we could do. Now, when you're a tall guy, you have to get in here delicately. You just imagine how hard it was for David Hasselhoff to get in and out of this car. So really, this is a video to kind of show the owner how this thing works and you guys get to come along for the ride. On this screen, you have this video with a uh, rear look out the back. We put a little camera in there. Here we have a video screen that plays a video. Now when you first turn the dash on, down here on the radio, the radio is playing. You're not gonna be able to see this, but this is just for the owner's information. When you first turn it on, you need to press the number three that sends the video output from the radio to the screen. So when you first turn it on, there won't be any video on the screen. The video will be down here on the radio. I don't know if you can see that. And by pressing the number three, that toggles the video output to here. Okay. And this video will just loop. And then there's audio also. So you turn it up, you get all these sound effects. Now, sound effects come out of the right speaker. Kit's voice comes out of the left speaker. We designed it that way. These buttons, uh, you can press and change from auto to normal to pursuit mode, just like in the show. Turn this down a little bit. The power button, of course, turns all this stuff off. And when you, on this lower console here, these little toggle switches operate the radio upper and lower console. So you wanna turn all those on when you get into the car and that'll turn on this lower console, upper console, and the stereo. And then you can turn on your dash. And then when your radio comes on, you're gonna to have to press that number three video output again. Up under the dash, which we can't show you, is the fuse block, and there's a main cutoff switch. There's a marine quality toggle switch there. It's a rotating high voltage battery switch. You turn that off and it kills all the power to the, to, to the dash in the car. And uh, that way, it, it keeps your battery from running down. Now, the other thing that we do that's special on these cars is we install two separate electrical systems. The car has its battery, just like it normally would. And then we install a secondary battery system in the trunk. It's a great big, huge truck battery with its own charger. <coughs> this way, all this stuff can run for hours, all day long, and it won't run down your car battery. And you can, hold on Kit, I'm talking. You can also plug it in permanently for permanent display, which is what this guy wants to do. This car is gonna be uh, set up on display in his museum. It's gonna be dusted off, it's getting dusty, but anyway, 
it's going to be set up on display and he's going to plug it in and it's going to stay on all the time. And those are the kind of cars that we build, cars that are meant to be used and seen uh, because most kit builders out there will just hook everything up to the dash electronics and to the car battery and then you have to leave the key in the ignition in order to turn on the dash. The, 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 the dash, you can turn all this stuff off and it has nothing to do whatsoever with the with the ignition of the car, you know. You see. So this is the traditional 305 uh, V8, and um, that's that's just what comes in these cars. If you want us to put something else in there, we can. All right, I think that pretty much uh, is everything for kit. Let me turn all this stuff off here. I think getting out is easier than getting in. We've done other kits that are a little, a little bit more fancy. This one's still a great car. I mean, um, I wish it wasn't bright daylight. We could show you like how cool the uh, the fog lights are down there. And actually, I can probably I can probably turn those on because those are hooked up to the actual car, and they're hooked up to the original um, lights. Those are the edit this part in because uh, the fuse was blown on the switch and somebody put the smaller size fuse in there so I put a bigger fuse in there and so now the lights are working the fuse is located on the, right by the battery and uh, these are the fog lights they're mounted to a steel structure keep them from bouncing around and they operate off of a relay system by simply turning on the uh, running lights Talk about the, uh, the warning time <coughs> Now we've done 25 of these. This is the 25th one. Um, I mean, you've seen a million videos of my other time machines. You know, you can check our YouTube channel. We've got like four and a half million viewers on there. You can look at most of all of our previous videos. And see how the, how these work. Since we're here, we'll show it off. Now, this car was supplied by the client. Now, the, the movie car had a gray interior, this one was a black interior. But a lot of people wouldn't even notice that if I didn't mention it. The glove compartment is signed by Christopher Lloyd and Tom Wilson from Back to the Future, and so is the visor on the inside. Before we go in, we'll look at the back. We have some of the standard stuff that we put on our Mr. Fusion version. All of this stuff is bolted in, screwed in very tightly, it won't come off. You know, these are real metal. You know, a lot of other builders, that they have to fake everything. You know, you see them put in like coffee thermoses and flower pots and stuff from Home Depot. We don't do that. We use the real stuff and or castings of the real stuff so that it's an exact replica of the original. Uh, great paintwork done on all the vents. You got the Mr. Fusion. Oh, there's banana peels and beer in there. We've got the out of time plate, of course. This is the Mr. Fusion version from the future. It's easy to swap that plate out. Here we have uh, some more stuff on the rear. These are made out of real aluminum, real metal. These are real parts, these are real. But, you know, some of this stuff had to be replicated. Some of it is uh, real, and it's hard to tell which is which, isn't it? That's the whole glory of what's cool about what we do. All right, here's the passenger side. Plutonium gauges, time circuits, drive switch. Get a look at the uh, stuff in the back. This car is really, really simple. It's sort of a, I don't know, I'd say maybe a, I don't want to say a dumbed down version of it, but it's, it's very simple. When the switch is to the right, this red light is on, it's in standby mode, it's off. When the switch is to the left, it turns on everything. Now there is a master kill switch behind this driver's seat along with all of the fuses. That's where uh, we keep all that stuff. Look, Christopher Lloyd signed this right here too. So uh, when you turn off that main switch, it turns off everything. Turn it on, turns on everything. These toggle switches, there's a few that do turn on certain things like the outer bands, which you can't see here in the daylight. But, uh, and I forget which one of these switches it is. I think it's maybe this one here. Uh, and that turns on the, the outer switches. Thing is, is you can't hurt anything. 
feel free to come in here and poke, you know, press buttons. It, it doesn't matter. You're not going to hurt anything. You can, you can flip these switches. You're not going to deprogram anything or mess it up. It'll be fine no matter what you do. So uh, this is DeLorean Time Machine number 25 and, and also kit. This is a combo special. You know, sometimes we do special things like this for certain clients who have special needs. This guy needed two cars. He uh, runs his own charitable car show. And, uh, you know, this is going to stay in-house. We don't always do projects like this. You know, a lot of times if somebody brings me the wrong car, I'll turn it down and I won't do it for them because I've become a bit of a snob. I only want to do the car exactly as it was seen in the movie. But in certain cases like this, I think that having a different color interior isn't that big a deal. And uh, this guy is using the car for good purposes. So I really wanted to help him out. So this is what's going on. Uh, check out our website at bobspropshop.com. We're on Facebook as Bob's Prop Shop, Twitter, Instagram, all of those. Also, our television show Screen Machines is seen on the Reels channel. is seen all over the world on Discovery Turbo D-Max and uh, all kinds of places. So just make sure to follow us. And if you want one of your own DeLorean Time Machines or Knight Rider or maybe any other movie car that you've ever seen, just hit me up. Go to the email uh, contact on our website at Bob's Prop Shop. I'm Video Bob. Thanks for checking it out.